know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Yeah. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited. Nice. I'm excited. Finally. Andre lifts thousands of pounds and can fight and all kinds you can of fight everybody. Scared but of COVID. a little bit of COVID. Listen. I love him to death, though. This is a personal. I'm going to do like we do at the union. Uh, health health is a personal uh, choice. This is personal matter. Exactly. No, we love Andre. We'll see. But this is, we don't know if we're going to keep doing this. This is just, we're doing this special today. Special today because to I'm, 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 a special request. Um, you ready to rock and roll? Because I, I want to do this. I absolutely am ready here's, to rock and roll. Okay, so here's Final. the deal. Uh, this is a special guest, a new friend of mine. Friend of the show for quite some time, which I was unaware of, but a, a new personal friend of mine and uh, a, a YouTube creator, aspiring comic. YouTube star, damn it. YouTube, okay. YouTube star. My bad, my bad. Okay, listen, you're right. Okay. If I was a YouTube star, you said I'm just a creator. Anyone can create some bullshit. That's this true. This man is a star. That's true. You should get the star. I mean, god damn it, we're in the studio. Shout out to the chocolate rain dude. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, never mind, never I'm mind. not quite there. Not quite chocolate yeah. rain level. Give it up for Sneeko, yo. Give yo, it up for Sneeko in the building. Yeah. Ready to rock and roll. Trying to get these the, the kinks out of all this shit. Um, Sneeko was popping, baby. There we baby. go. I forgot about Doing that. Good. Doing I good. missed that. The Dante just me sudden stuff. Yeah, off. no fade out. Just You do everything but pull the plug right out of the fucking stereo thing. I'm like fucking Cypher. Just... Yeah, no, you know, that's like... what Cypher does is he just stops it dead yeah, in its tracks yeah, and then leaves dead air. That's what he does. He does. Cypher sounds. Sneak was popping, baby. You good? I'm good. I'm good. I'm great. Sunday, you know. Sunday chilling. Yeah, well, you know. You're wearing your Sunday best. You just came from church. You got your church do-rag on. Right. Uh, much respect. <laughs> much respect. It's the Lord's Day. My mass fit. We, <laughs> <laughs> we just... Uh, uh, I apologize for walking in on the fucking. We just had a kitchen fire in my house. I smelled it. It's crazy kitchen mm. fire. My crazy sister um, just laid something Almost on the stove. Almost killed you and your baby. You and your, killed, killed me and the baby and everything because she just. What was she cooking? Uh, she what? She she took the the you know the dishwash the the dish drainer. Yeah. We drain the dishes. Yeah, yeah. And she just decided to put it on the stove. Oh, it's plastic? Yeah. And then she... Well, she, she didn't know it was so on the she, stove. She no, wasn't she, even she, cooking. No, she was, what happened was she turned on the stove, and it was clicking, click, 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 click. And then in her brain, she just stopped hearing the clicking. So she went and got the dish drainer and just sat it on the the stove, and then it lit up. And then she was just... And then it just... Black billowing smoke, just Jesus, Jesus, a lot of yeah. chaos before the show. Yeah, yeah, a lot of chaos, but we're still here. We're here, still we're doing it. He had to walk into the the, the, the know, melee. The door was mess. wide open. Why was it just smoke bellowing out of us? Crazy, whatever. It did look like a trap house. You just walking in to do the show. <laughs> just smoke, <laughs> just walking. Smoke in. going Let on. Let me get two. Let me get two. 
So thanks for coming, dog. I appreciate this. Uh, but um, also, we're having a little technical difficulty, so yeah, yeah. hopefully this will work. Sneak- well, I appreciate you having me. I can't can't do it on Zoom. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sneak asked us to, to, to do, do it, it in, in studio person, and stuff. Right. And, and, and but Sneak goes way back. You you start out with the Black Phillips show. That's where you mm-hmm. – and, and the basis. What, what are some of the things you learn from it, like from the show, from this show, the whole thing, from Dante? Uh, putting your happiness first, for putting sure. Putting your happiness yeah. first. Putting, putting your needs – first and how to be selfish correctly there you go uh, yeah yeah you should i agree take with that yeah. i agree with that correctly you can... selfish mm-hmm. i want to point out that the fact that we have recorded this whole story yeah, yeah, before yeah, yeah. and we're doing it again and he did it right now he did it like it was the, he did the a first great job that was, in, I fact, not bad, right? in fact I nobody nobody would have known <laughs> and let's, if you i, I was trying to think of another lesson to, to say but i didn't have to you got it you nailed it the flaw is not within you. The flaw is within the the amounts of pull Dante took off the uh, space volcano or whatever. <laughs> the uh, Superman kryptonite uh, I bomb. I couldn't just let he it did go. it. He I went through. <laughs> you were so surprised by how well he did like, it. Like, God damn. Shit, I gotta, I Brilliant. Gotta stop. Stop the recording. Let's just give him his props. Um, went through. But, no, it's important to – I mean, that's, a, that's a, you know, that's a, that's like the number one thing. Yeah. Is putting your happiness first. Number one thing. One, number one thing's got to come from that. Yeah. Then you ace. still have to be responsible. And then ace, authenticity, credibility, and empathy. And then RFF. What's RFF? Reasonable, fair, and firm. Yeah. There you go. So, you know, in a situation, RF- if your lady is making a request about something, is it, or she has an emotion about something, is it a reasonable? Is it, is it reasonable for her to feel that way? Is it what is what she's asking reasonable? So let, let's say hypothetical. Say you're cheating on your girl. Right. Oh, right. Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically. <laughs> Hypothetically cheating. Hypothetical. And and she's upset because you, she finds out you're cheating. Is it? Because she is, thinks she, she doesn't have hard evidence. Right. She, she assumes and she's correctly assuming. But right. And correct. she's going. Is it reasonable for her to be upset? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, especially if if you had promised her that you wouldn't be cheating, <laughs> and it's like the fourth, fifth time, it's yeah. very no, it makes sense, it makes sense. Yeah, it would be fair. Now, here's the thing. Now, in that situation, this is a story you told us before. You, she had requested. You told her you were polyamorous. Told her polyamorous, and she said she didn't want to do it. So I was slightly coaching her, and I, I to be honest, I don't think that. It, you should have ever believed that somebody who says openly, like, I'm polyamorous, to expect them to be monogamous. That's like saying I'm gay and then telling them to be straight. It's just yeah, not going right. to happen. So I don't, in my opinion, it's like, you should, why, why are you believing my lies? But right. anyway, I said that but I was... But people believe lies that they want to believe. Yes, because they yeah. hope you'll change. Or you, yeah. yeah, they hope, hoping, well, he did, did say it. Yeah. Well, sometimes women get in a situation, and this is men's fault, actually, because a woman will be like, yeah, I want to do it this way, and a guy... Who generally doesn't want to lose out on her or or getting laid will go. All right, we'll do it your way. Yeah, 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 and for sure. Then they can't because mm-hmm. they have no skill or ability or intention well, they of doing it. Might have not intended right. <laughs> to do it in yeah. the first place. Right. Yeah, <laughs> they never. Well, Sneeko did hypothetically, say hypothetically. Hypothetically. All right. So, Sneeko, when you told her that, uh, guy, but my point is, guys will acquiesce. But here's the thing: guys will do the same thing. A guy will call me up and he go, yo, man, my girl, she told me she didn't want to be bothered with me no more, but she told me before she misses me a lot. Mm. I'm like, well, then go with the worst. Right. Go with the fact that she thinks you're a piece of shit. She, well, she called me a piece of shit, but she also says she loves me. Well, then go with the piece of shit. Yeah. Because Assume, that's still there. Yeah. And, and I don't understand why you would take that on your chin and not be offended by it. Right. You, like, Why would you allow someone to say you're a piece of shit? Yeah, if you if you're calling me a liar or you calling me a, a a a piece of shit. Why why are you fucking with me? Like, why are we even having a conversation? I said that. I said that in the big ass like dramatic fight we had last night. I'm like, you think I'm a an oh, asshole? This was last of, night. This last night. Like, oh, I wow. barely slept. It was yeah. Whole night. The whole neighborhood heard it. Like, really? Yeah, screaming down the block. Like. Hysterical crying, like okay, you screaming big... on both parts or one? Part? No, I'm relaxed. I'm okay, chilling. Good, I'm like, good boy. I'm just good trying boy. to be. Thank I just you. want to make sure, man. I just want to make <laughs> thank sure. Thank you. Just level headed. Like, all right. Which go. I said ultimately, like, what do you want to do? You want to break up? Yes or no? Just like the most blatant thing. She's oh, screaming, crying. I hate that. She said she was gonna leave and she didn't. Like, I walked away. I was gonna walk her back to the train. I just walked back to my apartment. She came back screaming. I'm like, all right. We just had the breakup fight. We we did. The whole neighborhood can hear it. Like, do you want to break up? Yes or no? I feel like I just want to continue. No, 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 no. 
Yes or no? Yeah, we had that. We had that. Yes that or was the no? Perfect. We just had that. We talk just had that. I was prepared. I was it's already prepared. coached. I was you ready. I had the, right the end. I knew. I knew the moves. Explain. He went the, right back to his talk. basic training. Explain the talk that we had. Explain. So Dante told me that you just got to be straight up. Like th- these are the terms that I need. I'm polyamorous. I just. It's what and makes me happy. Think, I don't really what, think he's polyamorous. He's 22. He just wants to. I think everybody's polyamorous. At 22. You think everybody, everybody's sure. polyamorous like at their core? There's a degree, yeah. I think you want to. Well, first of all, men want to sleep with as many women as possible. And part of that is the genetic. It's an evolutionary feeling. It's an evolutionary, evolutionary yeah, thing. I think, but I mean, when you, I mean, but polyamorous is to say that you want these relations. You want a full relationship with multiple people. And that might not be. I mean, that. I mean, polyamorous That's is That's a just, specific n- definition. Yeah. yeah. So, How, but just because you want to smash other joint you know what i mean like that's the thing she's like she thinks that it's okay if it's just sex with another girl sure but it's never just sex with them you need to talk to them you need to your roommates there she'll be like yo i got a girl but you want to just have sex with me and she goes yeah that never happens actually it does it does really (laughs) on occasion yeah yeah you could you'd be surprised i haven't pulled that off if you're straight enough to if you if you have the balls that you'd be surprised what you can get if you're willing to ask really and if you're willing to fail yeah. Because yeah. asking and failing is, is part of that is just going like, hey, can I have that for free? No. Mm-hmm. Like, that's it's yeah. the same thing. It's like, okay. all right, no, nothing lost, nothing gained, you know, whatever. Nothing got, nothing ventured, nothing gained, right? Yeah. So you ask, and they, the worst thing they can go is no. It's just how much you're willing to put yourself out there. Now, what happens is if you get enough numbers, if you gain enough experience, it becomes less scary to ask those requests. Because you have options. Because you have options. So I've been in situations where I've met girls either online or in person, and I let them know, like, listen, uh, uh, just so you know, I'm seeing a couple different women. I'm very happy with that. I like my life the way it is. They all know about it. Uh, If you're down for that, great. If you're not, no worries. And for me, it's gone like 50-50. Like mm. the girls who I was into or were into me, they some of them. Wouldn't said, you rather yeah. coach them into doing no. what you want? No, no you don't train them. Do no, 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 because no. she, my, my girl now, like she was completely not okay with that at all when I first met her. That was like so far yeah, but out you of her didn't coach her. You just you, you tricked just her. Wore her <laughs> that's coach. That's a <laughs> <No>. term. <laughs> That's kind of the same no, thing. That's, that's, that's like what the, the best coaches no, do. That's what the Marines do, which is they break <laughs> the somebody co- down and yeah. try to build them And then they scratch. have PTSD right. for the rest yeah. of them. And they're also stronger and they're much better soldiers. But and they're they ready snap, for war. And when they, they kill snap. their family yeah. afterwards. They, they didn't kill their family. When they snap, they snap. Well, I'll tell you what it is, for Sneeko. So for me, is I don't want to. I don't want somebody who doesn't want to be here. You know what I mean? I don't want somebody who... That takes a lot of effort. And you can. It's not impossible. But the workload, the mentality is you got to redo the entire mentality, and that doesn't happen overnight. And it's more difficult. And also, sometimes you don't want to trick somebody into something. And even if you're not, even if you're being honest, if they're reluctant and they feel like they have to, they feel like they're being tricked eventually. No, but there's no way she feels like she has to. It's of no. course she does. Really? Why? What? Because she's decided that what she has to lose, what she will lose with not being with you is not negotiable so she's like i want to hold on to this and if i have to let him if i have to let him do that then i guess i have to let him do that but i get to keep what i want to keep but do what is it really worth it and so but if she perceives you as a high somebody who's higher value then she still they'll compromise it but i will say this Given an opportunity where you're exercising that, a, a woman will a lot of times will go, oh, I, I, like I don't have to fuck him when I don't want to fuck him. Like mm. somebody else can, you know what I mean? There are there are there are good parts to it, and there are bad parts to it. To the same token, I one of one of my boys. I mean, shout out to fucking Cinnabon, mm. one of the fans. He had a roster, and then he, and I said to him, I remember when he first got his divorce, he was like. He was like, man, you know, I want to do this and what. And then he started pulling these chicks. He had all these options. And then he was like, call me up. And I go, what will happen? Eventually, you'll be tired. I said, because yeah. if it's you're. It's so draining. Yeah, if you're, a lot of yeah, especially if you're a good dude, you're, you're being a good dude for multiple people. You it's, can't help it. It's in your. It's yeah, so part your, of yeah. the righteousness of the fact of your truth and your credibility and your empathy makes you a better dude which means you don't take somebody on and then don't treat them right 
you know, even if they're not accustomed to being treated right, you still treat them right. Because it's your standard it's in of... your nature. You treat people right regardless of relationships. Sure, you treat sure. friends right. You treat coworkers right. Yeah. And yeah. That, sh- that will extend, if you're a righteous person, that will extend into relationships. Mm-hmm. It's also like Harvey, you got like, like the Me Too dudes, like the Harvey Weinsteins. What they learned was, look, I'll become rich and, fi- rich and famous enough that I can bend people's will. And then I will, because I'm so rich and powerful, I will make people do things that I don't want them to do, and it doesn't matter about my... Yeah, is what he did that bad? Harvey Weinstein? He put a lot of people on. He put made it started a lot of careers from some heads. Um, yes, but here's the problem. That isn't necessarily everybody's choice. See, now there are... Yeah, I've heard that argument before, Is it right? not? To, to go no. into the... It no. is not, because... There to go are, into acting is not a choice? No, no, no going no, into no. acting is a choice, but deciding that dick, you have to suck, suck a dick, dick if you want to... Well, you got a career. One dick, you got a career. Right, like, but if you don't, then you, you get blackballed. So, I get what he's saying, too. Yeah, yeah. It's, see, like, I believe... I genuinely believe that men... There are men... In you know, in where there would have been some producer or something, female, male, or otherwise, men who have made that deal. They're like, yo, I find you attractive. Da 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 da. Hypothetically, let's say fucking Iron Man gets all of a sudden some dudes is all you know. I want you fuck me, and I'm not allegedly. I'm just saying hypothetically. Okay. And he goes, but if a guy will take that deal and go, so this is what I get, and this is what I got to do. If he decides to make that deal, he'll make that deal, and then he'll shut the fuck up about it because he made the deal. Mm-hmm. What in what sense? So just like so, he... if, say for instance, like a, let's say a Terry Crews, for oh instance. Boy. Okay. Well, Wasn't he actually? <laughs> well, he said he got he got his balls grabbed. Yeah, yeah. Right, but I would I would always wonder if you if you got your balls grabbed, right? Somebody don't just grab your balls like this. There's context to the balls. Yeah, yeah. There's context, and there's a lead up to me just grabbing the balls in the in the you know in the. Uh, Maybe no. he was asking for it. I would say no. He was. He was uh, dressing. Sexy. He was dressing. <laughs> dressing. I mean, he keeps taking his shirt off. He keeps taking his I'll shirt say off this. and making his I've, chest uh, jump. But come on, I've been in He's a situation a where I've been like this early on in my comedy career. I was performing at a bar that it was a regular comedy night, but it happened to be at the Duplex, the gay bar on okay. Christopher Street. Mm. And a guy was hitting on me, and I go, hey, not interested. Then he started getting grabby, yeah. and I had to get physical with him. Like, but I never like asked you made out that. with him? Yeah, how no, physical? I didn't make- <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you look me? You don't know, I like, look it's sincere. your acting I'm, style. Yeah. my acting style? You didn't even <laughs> see it coming. <laughs> you piece of shit. He got real intense, like, and he goes, like, made, made out with like, your asshole. <laughs> so... There are people who fucking are... I miss being in the studio. <laughs> right? It's infinitely better. Um, I mean, we might die from COVID, but other than that... <laughs> or a kitchen fire. Or a kitchen fire. Um, but my, there are guys who... I mean, there's no... who. I mean, a sexual harasser is somebody who doesn't give a fuck about boundaries, who will go that far. Because so, they have the but power, But did you too. say no? Or did, did I you say go, no? Me, I said... Me, if, if, me. No, I, I think I was a lot more specific... Did you go, <laughs> stop? <laughs> I might be more successful if I was with, if that's the way I did it. If that's the way I did it. I don't like how you're not respecting my sexual harassment story, Dante. <laughs> this is tremendously insensitive. <laughs> Just because I could take this guy and I didn't uh, physically. Yeah, how physical did it get? What, what how physical? It didn't have to get physical because I knew the bartender. I go, listen, you take care of this or I'm going to have to deal with it. Like, let him. T- I've so it didn't get physical. Stop. It didn't get physical. Uh, and I could have because I just don't like. I, mean, I could have fucked this guy up, to be honest. Everything I say, it has a sexual connotation to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful. I could have given this guy. I could have fucked him back down, too. Back up and back down. I could have given this guy fists. I don't play around. Uh, but I, I just go, I knew the bartender. I go, this guy's fucking, just stop it. Let's let it stop. There's no reason for me to break this guy's nose, whatever. And the bartender, she put a stop to it. But my point she? is, wow. yeah, yeah, she ran the show. Uh, he usually asks girls to do his fighting for yeah, That's what I do. I go, listen, I'm scared of this dude. Can you protect me? Can you protect me? I have delicate hands. She was like, I sure will. Don't you worry about it. She hopped up on the bar. She took her flannel shirt off because apparently that's the the impression Dante did. She took her flannel shirt off, kicked whipped off her baseball cap, whipped her baseball cap backwards, 
It's like, bro, you want a piece of me? You got to chill. Don't disrespect my lady. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is, the lo- long term around, uh, there are people who get handsy because they just feel like they can't. Every woman has a story about a guy who uh, just just got drunk and grabbed their ass. Okay. Every woman has that. So uh, so when you talk about whatever, Terry Crews or whatever. So anyway, we're going back around to the, to the Weinstein thing here. Right. Um, so you're saying, yes, they can be handsy. They can be handsy, but uh, w- more than you think. Right. Um, so anyway, the, the point with the, the Weinstein thing is uh, there are women who took advantage of that situation. There probably are. Who knew what it was and made were, the deal were, and then got the mad deal and were glad. Or, well, even ones that didn't. I bet there, a lot of them never said a word. Probably not. I bet you there's a lot that never said anything. Right. Yeah. There are. However, that means nothing because for every woman that did take that deal, there are women who didn't want to take that deal. And felt like they were forced to take that deal because there were women who didn't take that deal and ended up being blackballed or removed from movies or had their career stopped because specifically from that dude, from Harvey Weinstein. Well, I also think that you can't assume there's a different, there's an array of different people. I think there's girls who went in you with the intention. You can or you can assume. You can. You can right. pretty much. There are, yeah. That, that there were women who went into that with the intention on making the deal. There were women who were present had no idea that that was the deal being presented to them, got into this place, and then they, the deal got presented to them, and it was like. Mm. Then there were women who were so disgusted because the deal they thought it was something else, and and then it wasn't. It was that, and then they were frightened. You know, they could have been. Well, I'm leaving. Which was the chick, uh, Nayugu, the the chick from. Uh, the black, the African actor from uh, oh Lupita Nyong'o, Lu- Lupita. Nagangu. yeah, yeah, N- yeah Nagangu, yeah, so, and, and um, she was like, "Nah, I'm out," and then she got blackballed. There's girls who I think Rose McGowan, supposedly. Yeah, Lupita got blackballed. She's like the most successful. Yeah, but she got blackballed for a while. On, on, on. For a while, and then I think after he was, he was a powerful yeah. guy. Harvey Weinstein was make or break you. He was a, I mean, he was involved in the Quentin. I mean, Tarantino apparently not. Film. He's like, she's like one of the most successful after actresses right the now. Fact, yeah, but, but the thing, the tides changed. Do you oh, know what because I mean? of that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Part of that is he was gone and yeah. he didn't have any control anymore. Yeah, and he couldn't couldn't exercise that. But and then there's women who who imagine some hmm. chick from a small town who has no idea, and then all of a sudden she's presented with this, and then she's paralyzed with fear because uh, what do I do? I don't know. What to, you know or what I'm he saying? Physically took them too. Or, yeah. I mean, he physically did he do that too? Or um, no. Uh, you know what? I don't. I haven't. I, I don't it, think it all so. I feel like Lupita could take him. Huh? Yeah, I feel I Lupita think, could well, take Lupita him. Lupita might. But it's not even just an issue of physical whatever. It's you have to it's worry the, about your the, career. Yeah, you're worried about everything that you are. This and thing that you are scared to lose because, and there are people who have lost their careers because of that. Yeah. I had a dude. I had a dude. I didn't know the dude was attracted to me. I have to admit, if he was, if he was, uh, if I was a little gay, he would have got me. Right. Because I didn't feel it. I didn't. I didn't. Not, I had gotta, no idea. You really got to explain that. He did. Well, he he ran up. To, he was like, I was like twenty something years old. Harvey, he, huh? Har- you talking about Harvey? No, 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 no. no, no. no. This is somebody dude, else. he was like, oh, I, I, you know, I'm a, I'm a, uh, you know, was I do. Was this the Jewish costume, guy? The costume no, black designer? dude. Well, yeah, the costume designer. Okay, he was so like, explain I did, this. You were stripping. I do. I was stripping. He was like, wow, you ever do any modeling? And I was like, no. <laughs> 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 You got caught with the fucking <laughs> level <laughs> one basic <laughs> bullshit. I think no, he, right? You think I can be a man? I don't know. <laughs> Everybody wants to model. And he was like, I, I have some stuff I want you to do. But he was like, you know, I didn't know he was gay. And uh, They all are. Everybody in the modeling industry. I should have known. Yeah. And, uh, and I actually did some shit where he had a... Uh, he had this... We went to this fucking party, this like really posh party... And um, this, he had this chick who he did this huge kind of gown, like with with a tr- cape and a train and shit. And me and another dude who had dog collars on, and she walked us into the fucking. You wanted your hands and knees? Nah, nah, I wasn't playing that. But oh, okay. I mean, I was, just because you have bad knees. Yeah, because I, I got slipped meniscus. I got torn meniscus. So he, he, we walked in and we walked around the party, and it was like. You know, everybody was like, fever, you are giving them, giving them fever. And it was, it was all crazy and shit. And, and you stayed? Huh? Yeah, we hung out and, 
you know, just whatever. And then I, I, the dude made costumes for me when I was stripping and stuff. And then one night he was like, oh, I feel like going out. We went out to, to this club called The World back in the days. And um, we hung out and then went back, drove him back. to. He says, oh, you want to come up, hang out a little? I was like, sure. Like anybody would do. Went up in the house. He lived in a real rough neighborhood and he had like eight locks on the fucking door. All, I've never, like, some cartoon shit. He's like, <laughs> I was like, I'm, uh, you know, whatever. And uh, I go in the house and he... Uh, he what what no, did you think he wanted to do? Like, what time was it? 2 a.m.? 3 a.m.? No, nah, like 12, 11, 30, 12. What did, what did you think he wanted? Like, drugs? You think he wanted to... Just, like, hang out and drink and shit. Okay. I mean... We went out on a date. What the fuck? Don't act like yeah, it's funny. I 2 p.m. You. though. 2 p.m. Oh, you can't fuck at 2 p.m.? That's not demon time. Nah. Uh, I don't know I don't about know. you. I did a lot of fucking at 2 p.m. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but 2 a.m. You're hanging out. Sneakers looking at me like, did this my rocket try to fuck me? <laughs> 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 no, but the, uh, but I, so I, I really, but we have been hanging out. Like, we hung out and shit. It, it just was like, no. Okay. So he says, he goes, uh, oh, I, I got to show you something. And I, I'm like, mm, that, that doesn't mm. sound like you usually talk. Usually don't. But I was, I was so, so oblivious. So he hid the accent or whatever? Yeah, dude, he was undercover. Or was it, was it that he was drinking or was me, he was so overcome by the possibility? I, I was sexy as shit. I was so sexy. Oh, my God. Mm. Um, and, <laughs> and then he took his, his album and put his album on my... Like sat next to me. Let me show you. He was showing me different costumes. Photo and stuff. album. Yeah. But the hand, his hand was underneath the book, and his hand was on my thigh. Mm-hmm. But it was the back of his hand. So now I'm going. All right. I don't want to be like a crazy homophobe like this dude. Like so I'm trying to. And then he go, Oh, remember this? <laughs> and he laughed. <laughs> he would laugh and then adjust the hand. And I'm like, Hmm. That's how they do. That's how they do. <laughs> Hmm. A little caught you a little, and we'd go back into the book, and weird then weird feeling in your gut. You're like, mm, and then is... he'd go, <laughs> and then the, then the, he the, moved the... it closer to the goal line. Yeah, uh-huh. and I'm like, then he he flipping pitches, and then there's some dude in 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 a g string laying on the bed. He goes, oh, you're not supposed to see that. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, I I'm yeah, I'm gonna let me get out of here, right? So I get up. He goes, um. I get up, get my shit, I'm getting ready to go. I start unlocking the locks. I mean, I, I holler at you, I go unlock the locks. And I go one, two, and he grabs a knife and runs in front of the door. And he goes, you're not going nowhere. Oh, nah. <laughs> So you fuck the guy. I understand. <laughs> hey, listen, you got to do what you got to do. What you got to do. Gotta do. I don't blame Let you. Let me finish the oh, story. Oh, sorry. You're not done. <laughs> sorry, I just assumed. Well, we know why you assumed. That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. How dare you, sir? <laughs> so then I go. So I. So he pulls a knife on you. But he, he's doing this. Ah, you know, you know, he's flirting with the knife. What kind yeah. of knife was it? Like a, knife. Knife. like a steak knife. Like a steak knife. All right. So it's a legitimately dangerous knife, right? It kind of. He wasn't going to use it. So I. I grab him, I twist his arm, right? He goes, ah! Right? And I <laughs> take the knife from him, and I throw the knife behind the couch, right? And I start getting the locks. One lock, two locks. Three. I'm going now, right? He grunts. Are you panicking? Are you nervous right now? Not really, but it's this is not comfortable. Okay. Right? He grabs the knife, runs back, and I get to the last two locks. He goes, Back up, <laughs> you know. I have a, it's like he you know, he's playing like he thinks this is joking. This is funny. I was like, yo, move out of the way of the door, dog. I'm telling you straight up. I'm. Gonna... And he was hey now, yeah. and I pulled my head in with a right hand in the in the right in the solar plexus, boom, right. And he hit the door like Apollonia in <laughs> Purple Rain. <laughs> Like when Sprint oh slapped goodness. Apollonia and then he, and then he slid down the um <laughs> he slid down the door. He was like, <laughs> Will you hurt me? Oh, and I was like, I told you, I was fucking trying to leave. You fucking, I'm trying to be a friend. You had and all you, the rings on too when you hit him. Nah, I didn't have the rings. Uh. I was like, you. I was like, I'm trying to be fucking chill. 
and be a friend and this is fucking and he goes I, I I don't need you. I fucked FBI agents and congressmen. He just starts Talking running shit on the ground. <laughs> I've been punched by better guys than this. <laughs> I've been thrown out of better places than this. And then I, I was like, it's fucked up. I'm trying to be a friend and you fucking... And he said, this is what he said to me. Was, I'll, I'll never remember, forget this. He goes, you're just walking around. It was the 90s. He was like walking around with your bike pants and your slouch socks, your fanny pack and your spaghetti tank tops, right? Jesus. <laughs> so I didn't even realize... That he thought that I was dressing, like... Provocatively? Yeah, I mean, I was, dog, I used to, you know, I was a male stripper, so I used to run around with tights and a, and a cowboy hat, no shirt, and a vest sometimes, right? Some Magic Mike shit? Yeah, but worse. They, 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 That's toned down. Imagine that in the 80s, it was just crazy. I would have foot locker tights on, white and black striped, and a fucking leather vest. And you wondered why he thought you were gay. Hey, bro, it was the 90s and 80s. 90s, Every, all of fashion was kind of gay. It was very hard to mm. tell. I didn't like, know George Michaels was gay. Yeah. He, everybody A dressed lot like of it the, was very flashy and like. Think about like blouses. White Snake, old, old rockers. And they'd have tights on and cowboy boots and Yeah, girl like hair. Twisted Sister. It just They literally wore makeup and shit. Like Prince, who was more. For Feminine. Queen, like yeah. Freddie Mercury, everybody. Freddie yeah. Mercury, yeah. yeah. I see it now. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's all like... You just, but they were all gay. All those people were gay. Yeah, uh, yeah. Freddie was. <laughs> yeah, no, but, Prince was gay, right? No. No. He was uh, gay. I mean, he probably. Dabbled, he dabbled in some Yeah. Gay. I, I don't know that for sure. I don't. I wouldn't doubt it. I mean, I wouldn't, you wouldn't put your money on that. No, but that's it's not the, I've that's, never heard one story, though. I haven't. I don't know. That's true. I've never heard... I've never, I've heard, never heard, heard nobody say Like, I've heard stories about Bowie or Mick Jagger. Yeah. But I've never heard a story about Prince. But mm. it's Prince. It's weird. It wouldn't surprise me that he wasn't. Yeah, but, but we do know right. for sure. I've he never heard. Out. A, that's true. I've never heard a story of that. But anyway, maybe. But um, and then I was. I realized a a a, a gay dude that finds you attractive looks at you the same way you look, look at, at a it. woman. And, yeah, yeah. and so you know when guys would like friend zone you, like a, a guy that gets friend zone, he. The guy, like, if if a woman friends on you, she's just waiting for you to to. She, he's gonna hang around until you. She's find trying to figure it out. He's trying to unlock, like, to solve the puzzle. Right, and yeah. so he's hanging it out, and when, which always fucks you up. See, worse. I don't know. I I don't know if that's true. of nah, that's, most gay people. To gay be guys. Honest. I've yeah. been, I've rejected gay. I went to like a, a couple gay clubs, and I've like with my friends, and I'm like, nah, get off me. And I felt that like how men take the rejection, not as rejection, but as like, okay. I'm I need to find on. another way to solve this puzzle. Like, right. There's, there's oh, another way in. To, to try to, to get at you again. Yeah. yeah, it's, yeah. It, it's the rejection. Like I said, no, but no doesn't mean no, no to mo- men. It's right. like, okay, there's got to be another tactic. Right. That was right. the first time I experienced that. I'm like, oh, mm. I do this shit too. Yeah, mm. yeah. Doesn't yeah. feel good. No, it doesn't. No. Which no. makes you, gives you the empathy to understand it on the other yeah. end. On the Weinstein thing, yeah. yeah. But I was like, I was like... I was mad and then he told me that I dressed all, all right, sexy. imagine having... Hold on, sorry. Uh, Imagine the situation where a guy calls you up. Hey, I I got I hold the key to this show, network sitcoms, this movie. And I think you'd be great. I for this. I think you'd be great for this. You just have to suck this dick. Like, how would you feel in that situation? Right. right. If someone's if you had to eat this pussy to get a show, all the uh, that's not what it's. It, well, it's just, it's the same thing. It's something that you don't want to do, right? Regardless. I don't want to eat that fifty year old Jewish lady's pussy, but if I can get a show, I might. You might. Okay. But see, this is what I'm saying. This is the difference in guys. Guys will make that deal. Yeah, guy. Yeah, and that's... then we'll make that deal and never talk about it again. Yeah. Like but you don't make that cause... deal and then go buy his remorse. I'm yo. Nah, I, know I you got made... what I, I, right, I paid for. Right, it. I made yeah. you a star, but you didn't make me a big enough star. Where girls will be like, I was, you know, they'll sign up for it and then. I think a lot of them have buyer's remorse that their careers didn't go the way they wanted. Yeah, mm. yeah. I, yeah well, the ones I that think... did, the ones that did, probably just shut up and just. Keep that and, in Oscars. But some of them were just really hurt by it. You could tell that some of them were hurt by it in a way that affects them. In, in I, I mean, you know, I, I remember I, I saw some, uh, you know, if you watched the, you know, the whole, oh, you, these dudes in 1950s who, who were getting molested by the churches, mm. them dudes are fucked up forever. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They never get their shit together, you know? Right. Yeah. They could. I guess, yeah. So, I mean, you know, I think, people, I mean, you got to understand that some people could just kind of do it and kind of move on. And some people do it, and then have an easier time to separate yeah. emotion from sex. 
Yeah, and then, you know, I guess it's it's all about your own kind of where you're at on, on, on yourself. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, I just think that when you say the the being very clear about your happiness, you know, like you were talking about with your girl, and you say yeah. polyamorous, look, you're 22 years old. My, I, was, I was talking about Cinnabon, one of the dudes that I trained, and he had like five joints, and then he met this girl who, this Brazilian chick, it was funny, he was talking about Brazil earlier, um, he Gotta met this Brazilian there. chick who is just so dope, and he had, so he had, uh, he had a chick who was dirty, filthy, just spit in my mouth, fuck my, whatever. One for every occasion. Right, and but this chick would like, she would take a shower in his in his house, his apartment, and then all of a sudden she'd be like, she would just leave her hair in the in the shower, and then it would be stopped, and he'd be like, she'd come out and she's like, oh yeah, your top stopped up. Yeah, but it stopped up because you didn't take your hair out. Mm -hmm. Like, and then he got to the point when he started having options, he was like. Why do I have this woman in my house who doesn't respect my home? Mm -hmm. That you just stuff you, you hair all over the place. You think I should clean your hair up? It's stopped up, and then you just come out. Oh, your hair stopped up. Then he even broke up with a chick because he because she cut she used his bread knife on the on the marble countertops. Mm -hmm. He was like, "Yo, you don't use a bread knife on the marble." And she was like, "I'll stop it." And he was like. Because the other... It's not about the bread knife. That's about disrespect. It's about, it's disrespect. about asking somebody That's or a letting much, somebody though. know, like... It is, but it's not. Because if she'll use your... If you've said clearly, don't do this, and she's still going, she's going, fuck it, I'm going to do what I want to do, yo, then she doesn't respect you. Mm -hmm. So what happened was, even though, you know, she was, like, down for the crown, he just was like, I don't want this woman in my house who doesn't respect me. Especially when he had somebody... Who would, you know, she, he would take a shower before he even dried himself off. She was cleaning the tub out. Like, she was taking care of it. And so it just got to the point where he, he was like, I don't want to waste my time with somebody who doesn't cherish my time and respect me and respect yeah. what I give. And so it just got to the point where he couldn't even deal with these, these girls who were lesser, less generous and less... You know, aware, self-aware. So I mean, at 22 years old, I mean, that's so he turned I, into a monogamous person. I, I think if you, I, I don't. <sighs> it's not even just about like having a roster, because I mean, I could probably give up the roster if a girl was good enough. And, right, like, this is what I'm saying. But if I just you, want the freedom to be able, like, sure. I'm, I'm going to Atlanta in a couple of days. I'm going. I, I want to be able to if someone the right. something happens. Yeah. Well, here's, here's what I find more over than not when a guy when a when a woman gives a guy that kind of option, a lot of times he won't take the option. The fact that she's like, babe, have a good time, do whatever, you know. Just, you just want your just, freedom sometimes. Just make yeah. sure that you're, and then. And then now knowing I could, I don't have to. Then you're like, do I really want to yeah, yeah. fuck with this chick when I know my chick has got my back and she she doesn't really, she understands I'm a man and I might have these moments and stuff. And, and because she respects that, I don't even want to have the moment because of the fact that she's just so dope. Mm. And then you get to the point, I mean, I don't know if you're there yet where, like if I if if I'm not if somebody doesn't want to fuck me, I don't want I don't want to I don't want nobody to fuck me that doesn't want to fuck me because mm -hmm. it's not gonna be good anyway. So I mean I know when I was at my, in my twenties I would try and I'm like oh I gotta get this chick to fuck me and, that, and now I'm like look if you don't want to do this we could just not do this because the reality is there's always somebody else who will want to mm -hmm. but you got to believe that you have you have something some value to give i literally uh I, I started doing a thing where if you know I, i'd ask a girl for a number she goes well you can have my instagram i go don't even worry about it never mind mm -hmm. because it's just an indication of like if you don't you, want you're not really, you're interested. Not really interested and then she probably pursues further after that she probably does she leave right away or does she ask another question or does she, she asks like what, what do you mean why not yeah. it's usually so, uh, a combination of being offended slash maybe intrigued. Like, wait, what? Why? Uh -huh. Like, why? Because you're not interested. You're clearly not. In you're not serious about this. Well, I barely know you. Like, that's fine. I get it. I'm not asking to come to your house. I'm asking to text with you. But if you're not interested, we don't have to do that. Then it becomes like a reverse sales thing. It's very bizarre where you're like, I'm trying to leave now. Like, no, no, no. <laughs> right, but wait, like, I have are to. we gonna break up? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You're like, and I'm trying. No, no. Like, we don't have to. You just said you don't want to do it. I don't want to do this now uh -huh. anymore and it's like wait, wait but wait, wait, wait but why wait. because and and there's nothing i get the instinct of there that's not like a big big thing on her part but it's an indication she's not serious because maybe point she just out, doesn't trust random men asking for a she, number yeah she, but let, she might not all right so if brad pitt said yo right. give me a number she would go 
<laughs> Take you can my find Instagram. me on Instagram. Fuck out of here. Really? I, I don't. I don't get bothered by that. I kind of respect her more because, like, oh, okay, she doesn't trust every random Maybe, dude to give her number out. But for like me, that. it's I. I come. It might be a generational thing too. I don't know, but because you me, can text on Instagram. Yeah, without a doubt. But you also know when someone's interested and when they're not. And then you know it, if they're trying to keep distance or they're really tr- – you know when somebody's into you. And when maybe she's into you, but she just needs more persuading or she's just playing hard to but get. But, I mean, he's also – this, this, this is not his first – this is not his first rodeo. Right. And so he, he, he's – so in essence what he's saying is my time – how how much it even takes for me to figure this out is not worth it. It's not your, worth it. Yeah, and I'd I'm rather not. I'm not going to play the game. So because you, I've asked for numbers and gotten the numbers. So I know that it's not every whim, every woman or most women. When they're attracted and there's a connection, they are interested and will give That's you the That's another number. thing. I, 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 I will counsel dudes and they'll be like, oh, yeah, you know, she don't really talk on the phone. Do you talk on the phone? Oh, yeah, I would prefer to talk. Then why are you dealing with somebody who don't want to talk on the phone? Somebody, people talk on the phone to the people they give a fuck about. Right. You sure. make time for anybody that you want. That's, that you right. think is important. Yeah. So... If if you you know if you if I'm a guy who talks on the phone and she don't want to talk well and you just go I mean I know that seems like a really uh, small thing for somebody to to cut it off for because you don't want to talk on the phone but relationships are difficult enough without dealing with dumb compromises that you don't have to uh, that you don't have to put up with. And also, it's not necessarily the end all be all of the relationship, but it's usually an indicator of other things, mm-hmm. like all that little, like the bread knife thing was not. It's not about the bread knife. It's not about the but marble if you, counter. If you encompass that with the fucking, the tub. Right, and like, it's also a reaction. How you react to the request. So if my girl asks me something like, "Hey, baby, could you just not do? Can you not put that there because I have a reason?" You and. You assess, like, is that a reasonable request on her part? Is it fair? And that was reasonable, fair and firm. That's the whole point of reasonable. Is, is it the, reasonable is the request, for her? Is the request reasonable? Did I did Patrice, is my request that she not use the knife on the marble countertop reasonable? Yeah. It's reasonable, right? Um, was the res- Is her response to that reasonable? No. No. The response of, like, what? Fuck you. That's not a reasonable response. A right away... It's done. So, right. you know, and then. Or she goes, whoa, I, oh, this dude is different. I'm really intrigued by it. And because she's intrigued by it, then she, she knows that she has to reassess how she's going to communicate with you. But fuck being intrigued. To me, it's about just human decency. If somebody asks you not to do something right, right, on their end and it's not an unreasonable request, why wouldn't you? You know, I, why? I, I get it, but I, I think sometimes people are in situations where they've, especially got, guys have, have made such a, uh, they've made such consignments just to get some pussy. Yeah. That women are accustomed, they're not accustomed to somebody saying my happiness is important. Right. And then when you do that, what you're saying is my value is more important than, than you, yours. Than you think that, well, I believe that my value, like I always say, you know, guys will always say, Hey, listen, if you're not interested, I don't want to waste your time, and I don't want you to waste my time. But they always preface it by, I don't want to waste your time, right? I never say, I don't want to waste your time. Yeah, neither do I. I don't give a fuck about your time. I don't know you enough, but I do give a fuck about my time, and I want you to be clear to know that I'm not going to waste my time with somebody who's not worth my time. That shit pissed her off last night during the fight. Like, after the breakup, I had my editing program open, and I was working on a video. So I was like, I just put my headphones on. It started working. It started working, and she's... Took the heads, like took them off my head. I'm like, well, what are you doing? We're done. I'm moving on. This is what I have to do. I wasn't even like trying Man. to do that to be petty. I was just like, yeah. this is what if we're broken up. Like I got shit to do. Yeah, she was still that in your really place. bothered. Yeah, she stayed. She stayed there, arms crossed, like crying, like still like with the expect. Like, why do you not even care about me? Like, you just broke up. Right. I don't have to care about you anymore. Right. And I do, but you don't get that. You don't get that anymore. You don't. You don't deserve it. Yeah. yeah. You don't. You. You've said that this is not important. What's in? It, it's funny because we, we. I mean, I don't know if we talked about, it, but it was like I had. I said to. I, we had the conversation, and I said you cannot. You cannot just talk, and then you get the doe eyes, or the teary eyes, and they don't respond. Like you can, and yeah. I say this with girls too. Like make. You make them make a declaration. If you're saying this is what is what makes me happy and this is what I need, do you understand that? And you don't get a. Re- I don't stop until I get a. I don't until I get a response. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do understand that. Okay, 
So now what you so do there's is no, you, uh, there's no later on. There's no ignorance. To right. It, yeah. You can't claim because you you strengthen the social contract. Right. You expanding and strengthening the social contract because you can't say that you didn't know there wasn't a misunderstanding. Yeah, I heard you say that, but I didn't really think you meant no. You heard me say it, and I asked you for a confirmation that you understood. You said you understood, and then you did what you wanted to do. So now you have to go because you violated any sense of. Uh, any sense of of of, of, of good decency, you yeah. know, you you breach the contract, and I, and I, and the same thing goes with like I I can't tell you how many times dude called me. He was like you, you know, um, I was dating this girl and then she broke up with me, but she called me up and she said she misses me, and I go, but did she say she she said that she didn't want to deal with you no more? Yeah, but she called me, but she also said that she missed me. Okay, so she missed you, but she doesn't. I like. Stop so which one are you picking in that scenario? I heard it all last you night. You all, you always pick the worst, and the reason why you pick the worst is because even if you don't believe it, what you want to do is you want her to, you want her just, and not, I shouldn't say her. You want the person, your significant other, to understand that their what comes out of their mouth is significant and it's and it means something and it has mm -hmm. consequences and it has consequences and yeah. so if you say I don't ever want to see you again then you got to go okay fair enough then because why are you here not then, because if you because if you as a man violate that agreement whatever she's saying then she has she gets carte blanche to keep saying I'm going to end this, you know, make false threats. Yeah. yeah. And then you're in a situation where now what each of you is saying doesn't mean anything and it's not honest and you can't be held accountable either way and that doesn't work either way. It's like so, the fifth time she's broke up with me, like the the fifth the first right. the fifth time and I haven't even been dating her that long. Now the 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 problem with that is at some point in time she can't even though she keeps breaking up with you and coming back and you kind of get what you want at some point in time her breaking up with you that has to be more offensive than anything else like we've made this agreement now yeah. you're breaking up and then you come back because so now you feel now there's still a level of manipulation in the fact that she can leave say all kinds of hard scream and holler snatch your headphones off your head and then come back so even that's not okay. Like, if no. you want to leave, you can leave. If you want to stay, you can stay. But even if you stay, you have to stay with a level of respect that I that I will not tolerate. And that's the, and that it's just a waste of time. It's yeah. just a yeah. waste of time and energy. So this is like the fifth time. Is she living with you or no? Nah, no. Nah. Okay. But she, it was over the phone before. Like, But this time, like she packed up everything. I think she really meant it. I don't even think it was like a manipulation tactic. I think she genuinely thought like, yeah, I'm leaving. Until it until you let her go. Yeah. Then that's when you really see. You and know. I knew that shit was gonna happen too. Like I just, I was wait, I was smiling. Like, I couldn't stop laughing the whole time. Like, the tears, the hollering. Like though, I just, I can't take that shit seriously. It just seems like a movie scene. It doesn't. Well, because sometimes real. it depends on who the person is. If you're wondering if she's legitimately hurt, that's one thing. No, she was, she was, but it was still funny in a way. <laughs> like her, like crying on the street. Like this is like people are watching us. <laughs> it's just funny. Like, you're like we're well, that couple right people now. People do this. Wow. Yeah. Huh. Shit. <laughs> this it's is real. I've this is happening. this in movies. Yeah, this is a movie scene. This is well, it's interesting because, and this is men, women, or otherwise, there's always, there's three levels of, uh, this is another one, of, I, you know how I keep telling you I got a thousand videos in me? Um, manipulation comes in three level, in three three stages. Anger, guilt, and sympathy, right? So first it's like, you're the you cheated on me, and then when you when you meet that with calmness, it's like, how could you do this to me? All that I've done for you, I've been there for you. You cheated on me before. The, then when it's not that, it's like, look at me, I'm a broken woman. I'm and just, then I'm it, consoling her after all the evil shit. I'm the one like rubbing her back right, and like whatever. It's, well, it's whatever gets to you. It's a different tactic, but, it, but, but whatever it's, applies it's not, it's, to you. And but you gotta understand, you. it always happens in that order. Anger first. Guilt second, sympathy third. And then when you don't give sympathy, when you go, look, we broke up. You're just, I don't know why you're still here. And you continue to, to to edit or whatever. Then she smacks the headphones off your head because she's mad at you. Well, she goes back to anger. Because she's, you, she was so pathetic. And you didn't even care that she was pathetic. Yeah. So now she's mad at you again. Yeah. And it's like, ah, 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 ah. Then it's like, all that I've done with you. Then it's like, look at me. And then it goes back again. And if you let oh it go, God. it just keeps going around and around it's exactly and exactly like exactly what happened. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's funny. It's crazy how you're able to predict that like 
Exactly, spot on. I kept thinking about your that image that you you had that she threatened to leave and she packed the suitcase. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And then slowly, like every day, put it, put a t-shirt will go it, back, then the go, jeans will go back. Then it just what well, it's because people think they're very different. People think everybody thinks they're special and mm -hmm. they're different and they're not. Everything that you did today, somebody's done it before. Every there's been a girl who screamed and hollered and crawled, ran down the street and cream called you. That's up. why it's funny because it doesn't. It feels like this is so predictable. This yeah. is cliche. But it's, but it's all. It's, it's, not, it's predictable that. because you had the knowledge to kind of step back and go. This is why you're acting like oh, this. Oh, this is. Oh, my man just told me he was going to do this, yo. Yeah, yeah. You. I was so excited because she was like, "You're not even going to walk me back to the train." I'm like, "No, nah, I don't owe you anything." So fine, like I was just trying to get her out of my apartment. Like, just go. All right, I'll walk you to the train. I was planning on just walking away, and I was so excited for that moment because I knew she was going to run. You said that well, she yeah. was going to run back, and I, I heard did, the footsteps, I and I started I told you, cracking I up. Told, I did tell you that. You tell me that exactly, back, so like word right. for word. Yeah, but uh, now you have to decide, and this is up to you, whether you want to continue this or I not. I do. I do. Pattern. I do. Oh, this pattern. This pattern. Nah. Because well, now right. she accepted it. I, I. I said straight up, like, this is what uh, I need. She might loop back oh, she's around. She's gonna, loop, she's back gonna around. loop back around. But you just have to be. You gotta be. You gotta be respond. Here's the crazy thing. I, I um, I was counseling this girl, and she, she had a do actually an ex of mine, right? And this dude, even the time when I was dating her, this dude, he was a, he. This dude was hanging around her. Yo, I'm gonna be with you. I'm gonna be with you. But you know. She was like, I love my man. And she was like, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. He would always try to, like, dog me. And I did this and that. So, anyway, he finally got her. He got her. And then as he got her, he, this is what I talk about when I talk about shoplifting the pussy. Right? Mm -hmm. So, a guy steps up into a situation with a girl that he doesn't think that he's in her league. And because he doesn't think that he's in her league, then what he starts to do is he tries to degrade her and lower her self-esteem so that she won't leave. So first thing he does is he separates her from her friends so she has no support. Then she separates her from the family. And then he doesn't. Then when she does things good, he, he, he acts like it's not happening. So she's cooking and cleaning and he's not really appreciating it. It don't mean that. Then it almost becomes like a where he's like, oh, you didn't cook. And then she feels less. And so he's just trying to lower her value of herself. Hmm. Because in his mind, he in his mind he thinks that she's better than him. She's too hot for him. She's too smart for him. Maybe she makes too much money. So he's trying to cut her legs out from her, so she doesn't feel like she she has no options, but to but to go, to to to, to so she has no option to go. Then he isolates her so she don't. There's no voices coming in. Mm -hmm. Then he starts hitting on her. He starts. Smacking her upside the head, it becomes a smack in the head, then a smack in the mouth, then it's a choke, and you know, and then it progressively gets worse. And when she called me and she told me about it, I go, "Look, you, this is not okay, right?" So he's wait, all, that's your ex you're talking about? It was an ex, yeah. And he he took her from you? No, no, no. I I broke up with her. And oh, then she, okay. You know, she reached out for help years later, mm. advice or whatever. Yeah. From and her. so the dude was like, and I so I told her, I said. uh so she kept trying to break up with him. And then I said, well, how many times did you break up with him and get back with him? She said 17 times. Yeah. And I said, you, there's no, you have no credibility. He doesn't. She goes, well, we finally ended it. After I spoke, she had spoke to me a couple times and she ended it. And, she, and I go, she goes, he, well, he acted like he didn't even matter, that he didn't care. And I feel stupid for all I did. And, da -da 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 -da. and I go, it's not over. Mm -hmm. It's not over. I said, but what you have to do is you have to not accum you have to not communicate with this crazy dude because the only way somebody can manipulate you is if they talk to you. If I don't give you an opportunity to talk to me, you can't you can't you, you can't manipulate me. Why do women stay with men that they think are pieces of shit? And I don't really understand. They don't that. think their value. They don't. Is they don't good think enough. their value. They think it's that an insecurity we, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's let's shut this down and we do the rest of this behind the Patreon. On the Patreon I want to dig Yeah, let's yeah, go yeah. into this. Um, on the Patreon. Plug your stuff real quick, Sneak. Uh, Sneako on social media. That's S N E A K O Sneaker, but with the O. That's it. Just look me up on YouTube. That's where all my my best stuff is at. Okay, Harry, quick. Uh, you can go to all my stuff. I hate comedy uh, All my social media at Harry Turjanian. And uh, find me uh, and find the show, Man School 202, on YouTube and uh, Damn, TikTok. What time is it? How long have we been going? We've been going about an hour and change. Oh, about an hour. Hold on one second. Let's... 
Dante? Uh, you can check everything. Mine is Dante Nero. I got a new website coming up. Just keep watching for that. There's going to be merch and everything else. Don't forget the one-on-one -on -one consultations. DanteNero.com. Click uh, consult and you can get me and talk to me. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sex sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, we are out. We're going behind the, pay the paywall on the Patreon. You need to if y'all want this kind of content, just um, sign up for Patreon, uh, Manschool202, uh, patreon.com slash Manschool202, and you get all the bonus content and all kinds of stuff for different tiers. Um, we are out, man. Love y'all. Man School 202 is created by Dante Nero, hosted by Dante Nero, with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson, produced by Harry Turjanian, executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.